to make demands of government to get um, assistance was through a woman's work, right? So that's why you see TANA, right? Temporary need for women and children and families, WIC, right? This is the kind of assistance that women are allowed to get, which places them wholly in a domestic sphere. They're not seen in the same regard mm -hmm. as workers. Mm -hmm. Over large, the second bullet point, right, that Black and Latino women face particularly high rates of poverty. And again, it speaks to the intersection of where race and gender coincide in American politics. And this usually has very class implications. Okay. And also, how women live our, li and live our life cycles. Right? So women are more likely, this minority women are more likely to be born into poverty than they you know, have um, enter the workforce, and they're more likely to die into poverty as well. Mm -hmm. So because women have not accumulated the same amount of wealth in their working years, they don't have that to, to um, retire on when they get older. And then usually, as women, women do our second job as being caretakers, it's usually the daughters um, that are taking care of elderly family members, right? So these are daughters um, or, or women who are at some times called the sandwich generation, right? Who are taking care of their elderly parents and their own children and trying to make ends meet across generations. So this is what you see for poverty in women is much different than it is for and, and here's a graph that, um, that shows percentage of poverty by men and women by race and ethnicity. So again, you see that African-American women and Hispanic women are more likely to be impoverished than even African-American men and Latino men. So clearly, the face of poverty in the United States is women of color. Mm -hmm. right? And this is something that the Occupy movement has wholly, wholly ignored. And I, and I think this is, in a way, the leverage, right? If you think about women of poverty, we hearken back to Ronald Reagan's conviction of the welfare of the in the 1980s as being an African-American woman with numerous children that was born out of wedlock that does not have a man to support her and her bro, but and someone who just wants to get rich off of the government. Mm -hmm. But we know that the reality is that the women who are on welfare are typically white, Don't want to deal with women of 